Good morning, praying parents. This is the beginning of another new week. And we praise the Lord that he's given us a new leaf, a new chance, a new opportunity. Another week of glorious blessings. We praise God for his goodness. He's a good God. He's a good God. And we bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we praise you, we worship you, we magnify your name. Just thank him for your children this morning, that the angels of God are already on assignment over their lives, wherever they are. Even if you're not there, God is there. God is there. Hallelujah. God will never leave your children or forsake them. So we give him all the glory and all the praise this morning. No matter where, where they are in their journey, God is their real God. He's already gone ahead of them. And we give him praise. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We magnify your name. It's a new day. And we thank you, Father, for a new day in the lives of our children. I pray for your children this morning that the hand of God will continue to be upon their lives in Jesus' mighty name. The scripture that God has given me this morning is in Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. I pray that the Lord who is our helper will be the helper for your children at all times. In every area and aspect of their lives, the Lord will help them in their education he will help them in their jobs. He will help them in their relationships with friends. He will help them in every decision making. In Jesus' name, verse 2, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. I pray over your children this morning that the Lord will not allow their foot to be moved. That the Lord who keeps them will not, will not slumber in Jesus' name. Verse 4, behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord who keeps your children shall neither slumber nor sleep. God never sleeps. God never slumbers. He's always watching over your children. And we give him praise this morning that he keeps an eye over them. He watches over them. He loves them. The Lord is your keeper. Verse 5. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. I pray that the Lord will be your children's keeper in every area of their lives in Jesus' name. He will keep their marriages. He will keep their homes. He will keep their jobs. He will keep them in university. He will keep them at college. He will keep them in secondary school. He will keep them at the childminder. He will keep them wherever they are in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you this morning. I pray over your children that the Lord will continually be with them in all areas of their lives in Jesus' name. The sun shall not strike your children by day, nor the moon by night in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 7, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. I pray over your children this morning that the Lord shall preserve them from all evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, I ask that you preserve, Father God, all the children from evil. I pray that the Lord will preserve your children from the evil of this world, from the evil of friendships, from the evil of relationships, from the evil of the darkness of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no evil shall befall your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord shall preserve Preserve your children's souls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May their souls be preserved from every from every attack of the enemy, from every onslaught of the enemy, from every counterattack of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will preserve your children's souls in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children's soul in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord shall preserve your God going out and you're coming in verse 8 from this time forth and even forevermore in Jesus name I pray that the Lord shall preserve your children's going out as they step out of the home 
And as they come in, the Lord shall preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever they are, whichever country they're resident in. I pray that the Lord will preserve their going out and their coming in, in Jesus' name, at university. I pray that the Lord shall preserve their going out and their coming in, wherever they are. I pray that the Lord will preserve them and watch over them and keep them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We worship you. Yes, Lord, we magnify your holy name. I want you to begin to give thanks right now. Give thanks for your children. Yes, Lord, Father, we just give you praise this morning. We give you praise for this new week. I want you to begin to thank the Lord for your children's week. Father, we thank you for this new week. We thank you, Father. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Yes, Lord, in all the children's week, let your will be done. Say, let your will be done in my children's week. Just pray that prayer. Lord, let your will be done in my children's week. Let your kingdom come. Every decision they make, let it be your decision. Everything they do, let it be according to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break every arrow of the enemy. We bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We magnify your name. You're a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for this new week in the children's lives. We give you praise. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Father. Yes, your children shall call you blessed, praying parents. They shall call you blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. According to Psalm 128 verse 3, your children shall be like olive plants in the very heart of your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they shall call you blessed, 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 blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will get a reward from heaven for your labor of love over your children. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we bless you. We praise you, Lord. We magnify your name. We sing songs of of rejoicing, Father, to you this morning. Thank you for satisfying our children's mouth with good things. The Lord will satisfy the mouth of your children with good things. In the name of Jesus, and I pray over you, praying parents, that the Lord will renew your youth as the eagles. In Jesus' name, the Lord will bless you as a parent. The Lord will bless you. He will increase you. He will provide for you. He will make a way where there seems to be no way for you. In Jesus' name. Your children will serve the Lord with gladness. They will come before his presence with singing. They will know that the Lord, he is God. That it is he who has made them and not they themselves. Hallelujah. They are God's people. Your children are God's people and the sheep of his pasture. And so, Father, we give you praise for this new week. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your amazing grace. Your amazing grace. Your amazing grace. Our mouth tell of your righteousness and your salvation all day long in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Our lips greatly rejoice and we sing to you. Praying parents, God wants you to sing to him and your lips to greatly rejoice over your children. They are wonderful. They are blessed. It doesn't matter what we see. You know, we can choose to see negative or see positive in people. It doesn't matter what you see right now in the realm of the natural. God sees beyond the natural into the supernatural. The Bible says, who can curse those whom God has blessed? No curse shall come near your dwelling in Jesus' name. We send it back to the sender. No curse shall come near my dwelling, near your dwelling. In Jesus' name, we send it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Father, we bless you. We praise you. We worship you. Yes, Father, we bless you. Your children will excel in all that they lay their hands upon. They will succeed in Jesus' name. I want to remind you. 
praying parents that God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. According to Psalm 62, power belongs to God in the name of Jesus Christ. And the power of God will never be removed from your life or your children's lives in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in Psalm 68, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, and let also those who hate in him flee before him as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of of God, but let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Sing to God, praying parents. Sing praises to his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Rejoice before him. I pray over you that you will rejoice over your children in Jesus name. Nothing will bring you sorrow in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will rejoice over them. Whatever challenges they may be facing, it will end in praise and you will rejoice over them in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Father. We bless you this morning. We praise you. We worship you. And as praying parents, as you step out into your jobs, I pray that the Lord will bless you and bless you in your job. The Lord will, 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 will increase you in knowledge, in wisdom, and in understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. May the Lord bless you today and forevermore. And may he continue to bless your children in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The song that God has given me for you this morning, praying parents, is titled Too Faithful by Moses Bliss. God bless you. Yesterday, today and forevermore What you say is what you do You never fail, you never change You are faithful till the end Faithful God, I worship you I worship you Disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life, and I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me. Oh Jesus, you're too faithful to disappoint.
Praise God, praise God. We thank God for today and every day. I thank God for your week. I thank God for your children's lives. And may they continually be blessed in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. We shall meet online tonight. God bless you, praying parents. And God continue to enrich your lives with his great anointing. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. It's Pastor Lade.